Yeah, you can try to choose a question over here, randomly choose a question, or you want me to choose it for you. Um, I would go for what's your favorite month of the year? What's your favorite month of the year? Is it? Yep. Where is it? Which column and which row? Which column? So column means like, okay, this is first column, second column, third column, and which row? First row. Okay, over here, if let's say it goes vertically, then it's called a column. If let's say it goes horizontally, then it's a row. Then it's row. Okay, so this is like first row, second row, third row. So which row, uh, which column, which row? Uh, second column, fourth row. Second column, fourth row. Okay, here. What's your favorite month of the year and why? Okay, tell me more about it. Okay, my favorite month of the year is January because my birthday fell on January and we have this traditional culture in the school. We call it Phenomenal Week and we usually play around like uh, one week and that's all. It's oh, quite what is meant by, um, wait, what is meant by Phenomenal Week? It's some, it's a week where, where we all play play games and maybe some activity. Did I spell it right? It's phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, it's phenomenal week. Oh, okay, nice. So your birthday is in January. You everybody you all can write also. Okay, when you talk about the month, you say in January. Okay. Yeah. Right. If you say on, you say on the, and then a date. Okay, on a date. On the, let's say, on the 22nd of March. So, remember my birthday. It's on the 22nd of March, 1998. Okay, <laughs> no, I don't need to tell you about the year. Right, so, okay, thank you, Jingxia. So, next person I would like to call a lady right can I have a Lee Karen so randomly choose a question uh, what do you do in your free time what do you do on your free time so which column and which row which column one Is column one first column uh-huh First column, man. Column one and five row. Okay. First, when you say that, you say first column. First. Okay. Yeah. Just now you say column one and row five, correct? Are you good? Just now you are trying to tell me it's row five. You say fifth. Fifth row. It's on the, the question is in the first column, fifth row. Okay, the question is in the first column and fifth row. Okay. And the third column. Third column. Fourth row. Fourth row. What's your favorite spot and how often do you play it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you can choose either one. I mean, you can choose either one or you can answer both. Try it. What do you Just, do in your free time? Uh, uh, I, will, I will playing the piano and reading some books during my free time. And both of these entertaining or, and both of these activities are entertaining and relaxing at the same time. So nice. uh I like to reading books because it can open the doors to a fantastic world. And I especially like reading novel and story from, which is from Lu Xun, which is the famous writer in China. 
Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. What's the name of the book again? What's the title of the book again? Can I just mention to set the his oh, you book? Mean, oh, the name of the book. It's in Chinese. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for example, the Kuang Ren Ri Ji. Kuang Ren Ri Ji. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of that. But I will check it out. Okay. That's pretty interesting. So normally, if you say, I will play some games, you don't really say, I will playing some games. Okay. You will have, can you see it's underlined? That means um, there's a grammar mistake back here, but that's totally fine. I can understand you very well. Okay. Good one. So you say, I will play games. I will play some games during my leisure time. And then both of these activities are very entertaining and relaxing. Right? Okay, cool. And how about the next one? Just now you told me that you want to answer both. Right? What's your favorite sport and how um, often do you play it? I think my favorite sport is maybe is playing badminton. And I'll play with my friends during the PJK course. Oh, PJK. Yeah. Right. PJK, in, it's actually a Malay word. It's yeah. just money. So, yeah. Normally, you can just say that playing badminton is my favorite sport. Okay. Normally, we will answer it in such a way. My favorite sport is playing badminton. Correct? So, when you want to tell someone, you can just tell the thing that you like your sport you can say playing badminton is my favorite sport right playing badminton is what i like the most and i usually or i often play it with my uh how often do you play it maybe one week maybe three times oh three times a week yeah right three times a week yeah, I normally or I I usually play it three times a week with my friends, right? Yeah, playing badminton, correct? So you will actually go to a badminton court. You will, you know, book a slot or book a court. How much is it? How much uh, is the court if you wish to book a court for one hour, for an hour? I play badminton at the school. Oh, at school, okay. In the school hall, correct? It is free. Or in the field? It is free. <laughs> oh, it's free. Haha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so good one. Right? Thank you. So next one, uh wait. I would like to have Ang Zi Hao. Zi Hao, you can randomly choose a question. You can repeat the questions that they have um tried out. Okay, try. Um, actually, all of them work. I don't know which one to pick. Okay, let me choose for you then. Yeah, sure. Try. Okay, so why not you try to answer um, this one, okay? The first row oh. and the fourth row. First column and the fourth row. First column and the fourth row. See how. So what's your favorite day? Of the week and why? Oh, uh, it is either Friday or Saturday. I think I have to go with Friday. I think I have to go to for okay. I think that's a very good phrase. I think I'd go for Saturday or Sun Friday. Friday or Saturday. Friday. 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 I think I'll go for Friday. Right as my favorite day of the week. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. And why? Uh, what's the reason behind it? The reason is um, because um, it's a day before the weekend. You have a lot of relaxing time after Friday. Friday is usually the time where you start relaxing and do something for the weekend, preparing for the weekend. Yeah, you prepare things for the weekends, okay? That's a it's very day. exciting. It's very exciting. I mean, Friday, it's very exciting for you. 
right? Did you say so? Yeah, yeah correct. Okay, so Friday is the final day or the day before the weekend. So we he said, so thank you, Zihao. So he said that Friday is the day before the weekends. And you can prep up a lot. Okay, you can prepare things, you can prepare some activities for the weekends. So it's very exciting. Okay, you say it's very exciting. Okay, it's exciting. Okay, nice one, Zihao. Thank you. And just now, uh, Ka'an said, uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. So PJK in Malay, it's called PE class. Yeah, PE class. P PE class, PE stands for physical education. Okay, normally, uh, we will say PE class. Okay. While some people, they say ECA. So what is ECA? ECA stands for Extracurricular Activities. Extracurricular Activity. Okay, ECA. Like you say, you tell your mom, Mom, uh, I have to stay back at school because I have ECA until 5 p.m. Right, mom, I have ECA today. Right, okay. So that's PE class. PE class, it's like PJK in Malay. All right, in Malay, it's called PJK. And then next one, can I have a guy to answer me? So Liu Hong He. So you can randomly choose a question. You may repeat the questions that they have tried. Mm. Or you want to try something new? Yeah. Would you like to try something new or you the want third to... column, second row. Third column, second row. What's your favorite food? And what's your favorite drink? Okay. Tell me more about it. My favorite food is a pizza. Pizza? Okay. So, uh -huh, tell me more about it. And usually, what will you order for your pizza? Order. Yeah. What do you usually order for your pizza? And which brand would you support? Because we have Pizza Hut. We have, um. what else do we have? Pizza Hut, Domino's, uh, US, US Pizza. Which one do you prefer? I prefer Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Okay. Which, uh, I mean, which flavor or what flavor do you usually pick or order? I... It's like, it's a must for you. Um, how do I call that? Aloha Chicken. Uh, maybe. You can search on the menu, okay? You can search on the menu and then you can try to try to tell me more about it. Chicken pepperoni. And yes. do you have any like uh, allergy? Are you allergic to prawn or allergic to seafood? No. No, you're not allergic to anything. So you're fine with eating anything. Yes. Okay, but do you know what is meant by allergic to seafood? Yes. Yes. Can you tell me that in, in Mandarin? Um, 敏感. Ah, uh, seafood 敏感, yeah. I see. Okay, right. So what about your favorite drink? My favorite drink is apple juice. Apple juice? Why? You mean the the one, the, the cold press one? Or the canned one? The canned one. Oh, you like the canned one. Okay. Right. So what is meant by cold pressed? So cold press is usually fresh. Okay. Leng ya. Okay. You can buy in bottles. Okay, I usually, okay, so where do you buy it? Where do you buy the apple juice? 
at supermarkets. At supermarket. Yeah, it could be a can it could be canned one or it could be in carton. Okay, you say apple apple juice in carton. Okay, carton means boxes. We don't say apple juice box. We say apple juice in carton. Okay, right, carton. So carton is the collective noun for apple juice. Right, so in conclusion, I like pizza and apple juice, right? That's pretty simple, right? Do you want to add more to it? No. No, okay, good. One, all right, at least you tried. That's a really good start, okay? So I expect more from you, okay? Right, in the future. So next, I would like to call a lady. Row you, please. Do you want to choose it yourself or I choose it for you? Choose by myself. Oh, you want to choose by yourself, okay. Column two, row five. Column two, row five. One, two, three, four, five. What do you usually do on Saturdays, right? I usually have a dancing class and a tuition class for the subject history and geography. Oh, you usually have uh, history and geography, right? Geography tuition on Saturdays. Really? That's pretty boring. <laughs> Do you go out and party on no. Saturday? No. Do you hang out with friends? No. And normally, when do you hang out with friends? Shopping mall? Yeah, when? When do you... Yeah, when do you hang out with friends? Sunday. On Sundays. Sunday. Oh, on Sundays. Or school holidays, right? Do you do that? Yes. Yes. Mm-mm. So usually if let's say you hang out with friends, so which place is the meetup point? I mean, usually who, uh, where do you go? If you hang out with friends, where do you usually go? Cafe or shopping mall. Huh? Sorry, another place? Cafe at or shopping mall. Oh, where is it? Sufe? What where is Sufe? Cafe. Can, can you spell that for me? C A F E. C A O oh, C A F E. That's all? Yeah. Oh cafe. And shopping mall. Oh cafe and shopping mall. Alright. Good. So which shopping mall do you usually go? Can you name a few shopping malls that you that you usually patronize, you say usually patronize. Patronize is like you usually visit. Which shopping mall do you use uh do you patronize often? Or which shopping mall do you pavilion? Pavilion, wow. You're that you're so rich. I don't really go pavilion because I have nothing to buy. Do you buy anything? No. <laughs> no. So what do you do? You say, I usually do window. What do you usually do there? Walk, walk, see, um, play, play. See the handsome guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try out some new clothes, then you never buy. You go to the ship, <laughs> go to the fitting room, unique <laughs> cotton on. Yeah, I usually do that. Okay, right. I just go window shopping or I try out the outfit. Okay, I go to the fitting room. Correct? Take photos, yeah. right? <laughs> photos with your friend. But not naked lah. Of course, you wear clothes first, huh? right? Uh, so go to the fitting room and 
wear and try out. You say try out the clothes. Then you never buy. That's very bad. <laughs> okay, and try out the clothes. Then take selfie or take well VV. Do you do that? Yes. Yes. Right, yeah. Me too. Me and my friends too. When I was young. Right? Yeah. I cannot afford. <laughs> it's too expensive. <laughs> right. Uh, usually I just take like five clothes and then I go and fit in. Then everybody is waiting. Yeah. So thank you, Roy. Yeah, window shopping. Window shopping means like you go there and then you walk, walk, see, see, you never buy. Yeah, you never buy. Okay. When you hang out. You just go there and find some cheap eats. Find some cheap eats, okay, just to teach all of you something new. I usually go, go out and find some cheap eats. Some cheap eats means something, uh, find some cheap food. Lah. But then uh, for informally, we say find some cheap eats. Yeah, cheap eats. Okay, right. Usually, I go there and buy some cheap bits. So, thank you, Rou So, now I would love to call a guy. Let me say, Jian Lin. So, do you want to try out something new? Or you want to answer a question that they have tried already? Or you want me to choose it for you? Yeah. Jingxiang? Uh, not Jingxiang. I mean uh, Jianlin. So which one? Hello, can you hear me? Can you say something? You have to choose the third column and the fifth row. Third column and? The fifth row. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, third column, fifth row. Okay, how often do you go on holiday and where do you like going? I usually go on holiday on the annual and our annual holiday or our mid year holiday. Oh, on the end year holiday, is it? Yes. During the end year or mid year holiday, I usually go on vacation. All right. I usually go on vacation or go on holiday during the year, during the mid end or during the mid. Or end of the year, right? During the mid or end year holiday. During the mid or end of the holiday, right? Or during the long school break. Correct? Like right. long school break, right? Because you will have a long school break usually in... Usually in which one again? Uh, the annual holiday. Annual holiday means like December, la, is it? Yes. Some more, like, mid-year? Uh, around, I think, September. Yeah, around September, yeah, or roughly like. We can also use the phrase like roughly like, like right? around or roughly like, you know, yeah. Roughly like or around September or roughly like September, yeah. Okay, good. And where do you like going? I would like to go to Singapore because of their culture. Example, they never point between other religions, just like every religion as their family. Sorry, you mean you wish to go to Singapore? Yes. Oh, okay. Have you gone there before? 
Have you been there? Haven't. Haven't. You should try it. The last time I went to Singapore was when I was 14. When I was 14 years old, I went to Singapore and it had I had a bad impression on it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably I met someone rude. Yeah, the custom officer. I met a very rude custom officer. But no doubt, la, they have a really good cleanliness. The street is squeaky clean and everybody there, it's like very fast paced. Okay, very fast paced means right? everything is so fast paced there. It's totally different from Malaysia. Okay, they have a very, they live a very fast paced, uh, they live in a very fast paced society. Okay, fast paced means okay, they are very fast paced. They live in a very fast paced society. So you can also learn some vocabulary, right? Some phrases that you can apply that in your speech. Okay, I I I went to Singapore before and I wrote a very rude custom officer when I was 14. When I was 14 that time, I don't understand. I don't speak English. Uh, when I was 14 years old. 我十四岁的时候啊,这样子中学的时候,我是不会讲英文的. Right, would you like? Why you throw my clan? Why you throw my cream? Uh, I'm actually trying to say cleanser because I brought my facial cleanser. Ma, we are senior, ma. Then uh, I I just bought it. Uh, it's new, right? Then he just threw it away. He never explained at all. He just take my he just take my facial cleanser. Then he just threw threw it in trash. Is in the trash bin. Then I was like, why you throw? Why you throw? Then he like. He's like, do you have problem with that? Then he he actually glad at me. Glad at me is like, 瞪我了. So I had a re really bad impression. I thought that Singaporeans are very rude. Yeah, so from that time onwards, I swear I will never go to Singapore. But now time changes. La. You, cannot, you cannot hate that place because of one person. Correct? Right, Jianlin? Can you hate that country because of just one rotten apple? No. No, right? Yeah. So, yeah, he just threw my threw my facial cleanser. We say cleanser. Cleanser is xi nian shuang. He just threw my xi nian shuang. Yeah, by right, so actually, you cannot bring it to the cabin. Okay, you cannot bring it to the cabin. Cabin means like a fei ji la. You cannot. You have to Keep it in the baggage, right? Yeah, so I learned my lesson. Uh. But overall, um, the place is quite okay. And the people there are very ed educated. Everybody there, they, they are very educated. But then, when it comes to, uh, you know, courtesy, probably they still lack courtesy or they lack manners. We say they lack good manners. Many of them, they lack good manners. Right? They lack good manners. Right? They are too a bit selfish. Huh? Mm -mm. And then, if what about uh, like, what is that? We, we, in Chinese, we say uh, in English, they always feel good about themselves okay they feel good about themselves or they are just conceited we say conceited okay let me write down uh, at the bottom there okay they just feel good about themselves conceited means they always feel good about themselves uh, not every them uh, not everyone uh, but then the one I met, the custom officer. So what is custom officer? Custom officer is like high guan or jing guan. Uh, not jing guan. Jing guan is called police officer. Custom officer is around you go. Uh, so make sure you don't bring anything uh, harmful. Don't bring anything sharp. Uh, don't bring a scissor. La. Anything metal metallic also cannot. Don't, uh, don't bring the drugs. La. Don't carry the drugs. La. Oh yeah, you will be sentenced to death if they 
if they catch you holding, you know, a bag of drugs, a small packet of drugs, they will sentence you to death. 就是会抓你，然后判你死刑， sentence you to death. Right, sentence you to death. Good one, Jenny. Yeah, but it's worth visiting. You can try going to Singapore. Yeah, I also wanted to go to Singapore, but then I missed it. It's not like I missed this place. Right, because of that person, I gave up my dream to study in Singapore. Yeah, after my SPM, I scored 10 A's in my SPM. My mom told me to apply a, apply in a university in Singapore, but I refused. I said, I don't want. I don't like Singaporeans. <laughs> okay, no lah. Okay. I refused or I rejected. I refused. Okay, good one. So... Next, I would like to have a go. Um, Jin Hui, have you have you tried it or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, try to choose one. Uh, I would like to choose third column, fifth row. Third column. Wait, third column and fifth row. One, two, three, four, five. How often do you go on holiday? Is it? Yes. Uh huh. Where do you like going? Uh, I usually I, I usually go on holiday once a year. I like going to Cameron Highlands as I manage to gain insights when visiting the tea plantation. I can also plant and taste the palatable strawberries over there. It's truly an extraordinary experience as well as a good escape. From the from the hectic city life for me. Wow, you, I I I, I feel weak when I when I listen to you. Wow, you have so many good vocabulary. I feel weak means I feel very weak. I can mm-hmm. hear so many good vocabulary. Uh, just now, what did you say? Manage to what? I managed to gain insights. Oh, gain insights. Oh, okay. Gain insights means to gain lots of uh you know gain lots of experience. Yeah, you're supposed to say I gain a lot of experience, such as picking the strawberry. Correct? Do you pick the strawberries when you go there? Or yes. no? Yes, really? And I yes. think it's more expensive. Correct. If you want to experience it. You have to pay extra like 10 ringgits. Huh? I think 10 ringgit. When do you go there? Oh yeah, once once a year. Correct, once a year. I went there and it's quite boring for me. <laughs> what else? Okay, trying out the strawberry. What else? What else is famous there? Visitor the Lavender Park. Oh, Lavender Park. Yeah, visiting the... Lavender Park. Yeah, I like it too. Right, nice. Thank you. Jin Hui. So next one, uh I would love to have um Chia Lu Yi. Lu Yi, please. Uh the third the third column and the last row. The third column and the last last row. What do you usually what do you do in the evening? And what time? Uh, uh, I usually go take a shower at the evening because later I need to go to tuition. Uh, and I usually go to bed at 12 o'clock. I, after school, after tuition, I usually play two hours games. Two hours of game. Okay, can you tell me um, the game that you usually play? Uh, I play many games. I usually play Genshin Impact. Gang, Genshin. Genshin. Yeah. Gen, Genshin. Genshin, is it? G-E-N-S-H-I-N. I think my sister also played it. She always tells me to shut up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is it like an online game? Yes. 
no wonder yeah. she always tells me to shut up because don't make noise. She's very focused, especially when she plays that game. Right. Uh, what is Mobile Legend? Do you know what is Mobile Legend? A lot of people say that. What is Mobile Legend? It's also an online game I played before. What's a, Do you have any Chinese name for that? Uh, Wang Zi Rongyao, maybe. Oh. Wang Zi Rong, yeah, oh no wonder. Okay. Okay, I got you. Okay, Wang Zi Rong. <laughs> oh, I never once I played it. Have you played that before? What did you say just now, teacher? Uh have you played that before? Yeah, uh I usually play that before. Now it's my brother playing it. Oh now it's your brother. So you have yeah. created that. I think yeah. you have created it. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to focus on your studies. Quit. Quit everything. Remember, quit everything. Don't play. You didn't quit anything. Eh? <laughs> you didn't quit anything. Okay. So, do you know what I play? What do I usually play? I don't know. Try to guess. It's a gun game. Gun PUBG. No, PUBG is for for noobs for kids. Mm -hmm. Huh? PUBG. Valorant? No. It's quite oh, busy. Yeah, who said that? Okay. Call okay. of Duty, yeah. That's my favorite game. Right. Uh, I always ambush. Okay, I always ambush and then stay there. I always do camping. Camping is like I stay in one place, then I saw uh, if I see an enemy, then I shoot. Uh. I just stay there at one single place. I wait, oh, I wait for enemy to come out, then I shoot them. Yeah, it's quite noob la. By right, you should you should keep moving. Okay, you should keep moving and find enemy to kill. Uh, which call of duty like Warzone or Modern Warfare? Which one? Oh, Frontline. Oh, the other one. Okay. Uh, okay. Huh? I don't play. At least that, that one is not toxic. The other ones are very toxic. Oh. Unity. Unity. What's that? The community. Oh, like a community. Oh, I don't play that. I, I just like to play with random players. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, and I like, you know, bullying the noob. And then I make revenge. Right. For those who kill me, you better be careful. Alright. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. We say ambush. So, you say ambush. I usually ambush. Okay, if I play the game, I usually ambush. And I stay in one place. Right. I stay at one place and then I... And then I don't move. I just wait for the enemy to come out and shoot. Shoot that animal to death. Okay. Like stay at one place. Right. So they call this as... Uh, I also had somebody, you know, send me a message. Noob. All right. You're noob. Camping. Camping noob. Okay. Camping means you just stay there. Lah. Right. Camping noob. So I just keep spamming on me. Lah. I just keep spamming the shoot button and kill that person. <laughs> so he quit the game. <laughs> yeah, sometimes if I meet camper, if let's say I meet a camper, I will also quit the game. Yeah. Right. Mm -mm. Before the game, before the game is over, I will I will usually uh, end the game. If let's say I know I'm losing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, right. Right, so yeah, that's the thing. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Right, Qin Yu Chen, now it's your turn. Ambush is like a door, okay? Right, come, it's your turn. Qin Yu Chen, it's your turn. Uh, why not you try this? What's your favorite kind of music? And uh, which bands do you like? Try it. You can. You can. Try it. Don't worry. Take it slowly and can do it. Can you can?
，我不要这个 ，I don't want this, right? Then you choose it yourself. What do you want? Which question do you want? Why are you so shy? You're a man. Man up, please. Man up. Man up. Be a man. Second column. Can you just speak it? Just tell me. Second. I don't want you to send me any text. Uh, or send me a message one. Second Which one? Second column. Fifth row. Second column, fifth row. Okay, so what is it? What do you usually do on Saturdays? Ah? Is it? Oh. Yeah, tell me. Louder. Back to school. Huh? Louder? What do you do on Saturday? What do you usually do on Saturday? No texting. I don't want to see any message on text. Back to school. I want you to speak it. Speak it to me. Speak to everyone. Just speak to me. Why are you so shy? You are making me losing my patience. Pastor lah. Bro. Hello. Where is this guy ah? Tell me. What do you do on Saturday? Back to school. Go to school, uh -huh, for what? Eh, wait, Saturday or do you have school on Saturday? Uh -huh. Got me? Got me. For Extra what? activity. Yeah, good one. Jing Xiang. Qin Yu Chen for what? Ke Wai Huo Dong in English. EC, EC what? ECA and 自主学习. What is 自主学习? Okay, you can say for self-studying okay, or self-revision. I go to school on Saturdays for self-revision. So, so Rajin, man. Why so Rajin? Self-revision. What do you do on Saturday? Huh? Martial arts, ah? Do you know why it's martial arts? Like Kung Fu, you learn Kung Fu, you learn Wushu. Uh. You don't... I tell you, uh, don't text me. Uh. Don't send me a message. Speak it to me. Open your mind. Turn on your mind and tell me. Come. Take it easy. Nobody is going to judge you. Right? Yeah, just speak. simple sentences is enough. Yeah, I never had the chance, you know, when I was 14 years old, I never had the chance to speak with my teachers or friends. I don't even know how to speak simple English. Come, you have the chance and do it. 就他会叫我们回家然后做东西,有东西做. Oh, okay. On Saturdays, like you tell... Yeah, my school teachers will actually call us on Saturday. Uh, call us to come to school on Saturday. To And they will give us some task. You can say give us some task. Or duty. To do on Saturday. Like if they want me to uh, do spring cleaning. You know, in Malay, we say gotong royong, right? How about in English? Spring cleaning. Okay, spring cleaning is gotong royong. It's like you clean up the class and everything. Yeah, what do you do on Saturdays? Open your mind and tell us. What do you do on Saturday? Ah, Make it simple and easy to understand. Come. Teacher will.
Can you see my face is turning red? Can you see fires all over my face? Oh. Yu Chen, you I still got two more persons behind you, huh? Still got two persons waiting. Uh, then you tell me that in English. Why why you can send me the message here but cannot tell me, cannot open your mouth and speak? Tell me. Are you mumbling or are you chanting? Do you know why it's mumbling? Mm. Uh, mumbling. Get it? Are you mumbling or chanting? Do you know why it's chanting? You know, chanting louder and clearer. Okay. Chanting is like Ami Tobo, Dianzi, ah, yeah. Chanting is like that. Yichen. My patience is running out. Ah. Let's <laughs> go for lectures. Oh, back to school to listen to? Lectures. Lectures. Okay, yeah, good. Listen to lectures. Right, everybody, what is what is meant by listen to lectures? Okay, good one from Yu Chen. Listen to lectures or listen to tutorials, okay? Or you can say on Saturday class, uh, on Saturday, uh, I will attend the tuition classes. Normally, people, uh, students will say to tuition classes uh, organized by the school. But you can say, uh, attend the school's remedial, uh, remedial, uh, remedial class. Okay, I will attend the school's remedial class. Some schools are uh, some special schools. They have the remedial class. Okay, let me define what is remedial. 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 Sorry. Remedial. Remedial classes. Again, I will attend the school's remedial classes. And then these classes are meant for... But I'm not telling you that you are weak. Huh? So remedial classes is like Duo Pu Ban. Yeah, organized by the school. And then it's there to help the students who struggle with some subjects. Huh? To help the students to pass their subjects, right? Yeah, remedial classes. Sometimes I go to school on Saturday uh, to attend some uh, remedial classes. Back to school, listen to lectures. Oh, Yu Chen, are you from Duzhong? Are you from the Chinese independent school? Uh. No wonder, okay, no wonder, no wonder. I'm sorry, okay? Yeah, they have schools on Saturday. You check if you are given a chance, would you study in independent school or you rather go to SMK? Because SMK got no school on Saturday. Would you choose independent school or independent school? Independent school. Oh, okay. No wonder, no wonder. Okay. Yeah, no wonder la. I say you keep telling me that you have to listen to lectures. Okay, okay, okay. Good. So next we have uh Angelina, right? Yeah, I can turn it on, turn on your cam. And um what about this? How often do you eat out? Try this, try something new. This one. Do you know what is eat out? Means you dine out, you go outside and eat, or you order food panda. Not order from, order from the Yeah, how often do you eat out? Yeah. How often do you eat out? Eat out with family. Uh huh. You eat out with family, but how often? It's like two chang. How often? Like once a week, ah, uh, or maybe on special occasions only. Do you know what is on special occasions? Like 
Valentine's Day, uh, Chinese New Year. Yeah, on Chinese New Year, uh, or even on your birthdays, on your family members' birthday, right? So on, so when, uh, how often do you eat out? Like Saturday and Sunday. Oh, at weekends, right? Uh. Yeah, I often eat out at weekends. Right, Saturday and Sunday, so you can say weekends. And then, what's your favorite restaurant? Uh, Bu Hao. Uh, uh, Where? Uh, Bu House. At Eco Jarras. Bu House? What is that actually? Is that a Chinese restaurant? No. Or Western, Western food. Western food. Mm. Oh, you mean Western Western food lah. The... Okay. To, what's the, what's the name again? Probably I can check it out. Brew Maybe. house. Oh, brew house. I I thought we also have that in BMC. Ah, uh, BMC also got. BMC. Oh, BMC also got. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, Banda Makota Chers. Um, uh, so Western food. So, yeah, I actually got more lah. Got more. Oh, yeah. Stones that are worth trying, uh, that are worth visiting. Okay, worth visiting or worth trying out. Okay, it's worth trying out. It's worth trying out the uh, what is that called again? Huh? Uh, it's worth trying out the oriental copy. Normally, if I go to pa Pavilion uh, or Mid Valley, they have this, uh, they have many branches. Oriental Mandarin, uh, I think it's called Oriental Kopitiam. Uh. Wait. Normally, they have a very long queue, okay? Long queue means like Pai Chang Long, uh, okay? I always wanted to try it, but then it's too long. I have to take a long time. The queue is very long, right? So, I usually, I can, I just skip it. I just find something else to eat. Oriental Kopitiam. I'm not sure about Penang. Whether they have it or not. La. Wait, uh, let me find. Oriental. Ah, yes. Oriental copy. Diam, correct. Oriental copy. Diam, you know. Do you know the logo? Angelina. Do you know where is it? Mm, don't know. <laughs> don't know. Uh. In Pavilion also got one. Uh, where? Uh? Pavilion Sunway, I think Sunway also got. For me, it it looks normal for me, but I don't I don't understand why a lot of people they 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 would go for it. You no, know? probably it's cheap lah. It's affordable. Right, Hainan copy uh Hainan restaurant ah yeah you can say Hainan restaurant also. Yeah, Western food yeah. Brew House is actually a Western, uh, Western restaurant. Okay, good one, Angelina. Thank you, Trisha Yong. Okay, now it's your turn. Uh, let me see. Why not you choose the first one and also the second row. Uh, the second column and the last row. The second column, last row. But you can try the first one. What's your name? What's your surname? And what's your nickname? And any hidden meaning? Do you know? Uh, teacher, yes. Can I choose another one? Since I don't know this. Uh, you don't know this? Uh, really? Which one? A surname. What's your surname? Yong. Your, do you have a nickname? Or oh, Trisha is your name already. Hmm. Try another one. Uh, the first column and the fourth row. Fourth row. What's your favorite day of the week? Is it? Oh, sorry, it's fifth row. Fifth row. What do you do in your free time? I usually will do in a free time is work out wow you work out it's very rare for a girl to work out 
Yeah. Exercise, you mean like exercising, workout? Yeah. You usually work out in your free time. What do you try? Mm -hmm. uh, what is the kind of workout you usually do? Uh, maybe abs workout. Sorry, another thing? Uh, those abs work, work out like my you know. Oh, 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 wow. Ma-jia-xian, oh my goodness. How old are you this year? I feel so embarrassed. I feel so ashamed. You are training yourself to have that ma jia xian ah. What is that called? Ah? What is ma jia xian in English? Ah? Thank you for letting me know. What is ma jia xian in English? I also need to find it. What is that? Ah? Any, I mean, does anyone here know what is it in, in, in English? Wait, ah, let me find it. This one, uh. search in the sidebar in English. Oh, apps. Oh, do you want to like make that kind of, uh, you want to train yourself to have the apps, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wait. In English. Wait a minute. Uh, let me let me write. Let me find it. Oh, best line. Is it called a best line? You want to get a flat, firm, and fabulous apps. Okay. Why not we say flat? Oh, firm apps. You wish to have a firmer apps. Okay. You just follow the apps, is it, on the phone? The, the workouts on apps, is it? Yeah. The apps. Oh, okay. Right. So, uh, how long did it take you to have the apps? Uh, actually, I didn't have one. Oh, you are not having it? I'm still training. I'm still, yeah. Yeah, you say I'm still. Uh, I'm still do. <clears throat> I'm still working out there. Yeah, I'm still working out on that. Good one. I'm still working out on that. Means what? I'm still working out on that. Right? I'm still working out on that, or I'm still training. Uh, uh, myself to have that. I'm still working out on that to uh have a uh, firmer and flat abs. Okay. Wow. How old are you this year again? 14. Huh? 14. 14. Oh, I feel so ashamed. I don't even... How come uh, you're so, you know, motivated to have that? Uh, also true. Lah. Some girls, they care about their appearance. They want to look attractive. They want to look nice. Correct. Oh, yeah. So what about uh like him fair? Uh, my mom will always tell me, look at your spare tires, right? <laughs> oh, they call me a Michelin. Do you know what is Michelin? <laughs> you know the tire, the tire shop. This one ah, uh, they call me the Michelin. Ah, uh, this one they call me the Michelin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom will always tease me. She calls me a Michelin, right? Yeah, Michelin. Right. Hey, Michelin. Okay, so Michelin, or they tell you that look at your, okay, look at your spare tires. Okay, spare tires is your, like your tummies. Huh? It's a figurative, you know, another term to tell you that you are fat. Look at your spare tires or look at your double chin. Double chin means like song siapa, right? Yeah, spare tires, double chin, and what else? Like need that like a 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 like a
we say flabby arms. If you have flabby arms. Okay, flabby arms. Okay, like for example, you really need to lose some fat on your flabby arms. Okay, like your flabby arms look really fat. So you have to cover it. Lah. You have to wear a long sleeve shirt to uh, cover it up. Right, so to cover your flabby arm. So I don't really wear sexy coats or any like, you know, sleeveless coats. I never wear that. I usually wear t-shirt or I will actually pair it with a cardigan. Do you know what is cardigan? Everybody? So let me send it to you. Cardigan. So this is what we call it as cardigan. Lah. Okay. But I cover my flabby arms with the cardigan. And yeah, okay, you can cover your flabby arms with the cardigan. Okay, nice one. So did I miss out anyone? Let me check. Huh? Hmm, I think I didn't. Right, I called everybody. So see, it's so much easier for me to, you know, uh, to check who haven't answered yet because I know all of your face, okay? Right, yeah. So I'm super happy with it. So um, what else? Huh? I'm trying to talk about this. Yeah, you weigh yourself. Weigh yourself means uh, 称你自己的重量, okay? Weigh yourself or, yeah, weigh yourself or check your weight, okay? Weigh yourself and then try to lose weight. Lose weight means 减肥,增肥叫 gain weight. Uh, yeah, I gained some weight. I gained lots of weight. Or I, I have been putting up. Or you say I put, I have been putting on some weight. Okay. Some weight after CMY. I've been putting on some weight since CMY. Okay. Since Chinese New Year, you keep eating. Right. You never stop yourself. You never control your diet. Okay. Control your diet. Means uh, 注意你的饮食, or you can say I'm on diet. Yeah, some people they will try uh some girls uh, if let's say because I used to be young ma, right? So some of us we control our diet, okay? You refuse anything, but some girls uh, you can also like tell me if any one of you here. Okay, you can just tell me me. Yeah, I used to experience that. Anyone of here, you or your friends tried slimming pills before? Anyone here? You can raise your hand. Though. Anyone here used to try slimming pills? Nobody, yeah. Don't do that. Uh. Don't do that. Because I used to try it. I tried it before. And then, uh, I think it, caused some kind of damage on my on my on my stomach it's too acidic tai suan sing yao, right never ever go and buy some buy these steaming pills because it's very harmful to your health don't buy that yeah i lost i lost about like 6 kg in one month hey wait 6 kg in 2 weeks 2 weeks i lost 6 kg it suppress your appetite do you know why it suppress uh, okay, it's suppress, suppress, uh, this word, S-U-P-P-R-E-S-S, -S, suppress your appetite, means that you feel full after, you don't feel hungry. Okay, if you, after you take the slimming pills, you, it will suppress, Press your appetite. Yeah. So don't ever try that. And some people go, uh, what is jing si in English? Can somebody tell me what is jing si? Like you don't eat anything, don't drink. You never drink, never eat. Anyone here knows what is that in English? Is it fasting? Yeah, fasting, correct. Some people will do fasting. Some girls are. Okay. Fasting or... Sometimes you can call it as intermittent fasting. Intermittent, intermittent means uh for some period lah. 
Yeah, maybe like uh, they have to finish their dinner before 5 p.m. Understand? Yeah, so you can also say that, oh, I'm on diet. No, sometimes I would tell my friend, uh, do you want, like my friend asked me, do you want to eat? I say, oh, no, la, I'm on diet. On diet means I'm on diet. On diet. Okay, right. And then try to eat something healthy, eat salad, la, okay. Right, good one. So, yeah, I... Yeah, from, from you, is it? Is it Louis who told me that? Wait. Who told me that? Uh, Trisha, is it? Okay, yeah, Trisha. So for me, uh, yeah, after hearing you out, you make me feel motivated to keep fit. Okay, you make me feel motivated. Motivated is like, 很有那个动力, I feel motivated. All right, I feel ashamed and I feel motivated. <laughs> right, because I'm older than you. Right, yeah, I used to. You say I used to, 我曾经, right? Yeah, I used to lose 10 kg for my crush. Do you know what is crush? Crush is for unlinearing. Ah, right? I'm straight, ma, so yeah, I used to lose 10 kg for my crush, but still we didn't get together lah. Right. Last time I was like 60 kg. Uh when I was in my uh when I was in form one. Then I used six months to lose 10 kg for my crush. Huh. But obviously we won't I mean we didn't didn't get together lah. Mm. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's very normal. Okay, right. So what's your phone number? What's your email address? Hmm. Yeah. And we didn't really uh do that speaking practice, but never mind. Okay, another one. I, I actually like this session a lot. Okay, I actually like this session a lot because we have like five more minutes. Why not? Because I asked everybody already. Did any did I miss out anyone? Can I call somebody who, who spoke a little and I wish to hear that person out? I want to... Can I call Hong He Hong He to try another one? One okay. more. Uh, what are the most popular dishes in your country? Try this. Um, nasi lemak. Okay, nasi lemak is the most popular dish, right? Is, right? Because there's only one. Oh, you want to give more? Okay. Nasi lama and roti canai are the most popular dishes in my country. Okay, nice. They are actually our national dish, am I right? Yes. Yeah, our national dish or our traditional dish. Okay, and what's so special about these two dishes? Um, Why people prefer to have that? To have nasi lemak and roti canai? Because they are? They are... Um, They are tasty. They are tasty. Uh huh. Some more. Um and they smell nice. Mm hmm. They smell nice, but the thing, like, let's say I tell you to try, uh, uh like nasi lemak for twenty ringgit lah. Will you try it? Maybe. Maybe. Wow. So rich, ah. Really. That's overpriced. Just try one. Huh? Just try it. It's nice. If it's nice, you, you are willing to try it. 
Yeah. You don't care about the price. Just one a while. Oh, just once in a while. Yeah, just once in a while. I like your phrase. I just once in a while. Okay. Yeah, just try it once in a while. 20 ringgit. For me, I will definitely, I will skip that. Like, I will not try it. Yes, it's overpriced. Huh. Yeah. Why, why, why do you think that the local people here, Malaysians, we usually order uh, nasi lama and roti canai for our breakfast? Why? Um, teacher, can you repeat? Do you do, okay? Never mind. Uh, yeah. Let me repeat that. Do you uh? What's the reason uh that most of the local people here local people means penti ren huh? The local people here. We like um, we like eating nasi lama and roti canai. Why do we order these two dishes most of the time? Because it is tasty and cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's tasty and cheap. Or affordable, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cheap and affordable together. Uh, yeah, and tasty is also one more reason. Correct? Do you usually uh, add any toppings for your nasi lemak? No. Add any toppings? Just a plain one, is it? Yes. Yeah, again, I would order. I would order... Nasi lemak. Yeah, I will order the... The nasi lemak. Uh-huh. With toppings or with, without any... Without toppings. toppings. Without any toppings. How much is it for one? The plain one? The biasa one? Biasa is about, called plain. About two to three ringgit sometimes. Two to three? Where do you live? Um, In about Klang. Oh, Klang. Uh, two to three is a bit... Oh yeah la, it's normal. It over here in my area it's around like two ringgit, uh, or two fifty, yeah, two ringgit to two fifty. Yeah, I think they increase the price already. Normally, I I order from Food Panda la. I order from Food Panda, and I will add topping like chick uh, fried chicken or rendang chicken, right? Yeah, without any toppings. Yeah, I will order nasi lemak. Without any toppings. Or you can say I will all, always order the plain one because it's cheap. And you have to eat it fast, right? You have to finish it fast. Correct? Mm. Do, do you have time to eat the fried chicken? Do you feel that? Do you think that you have extra time to eat the fried chicken? I think so. You have it, just that you don't want to do yeah. it. Funny. Is it? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So good one. Right. So I hope all of you learned something from uh you know from your friends' conversation and you know you can learn some phrases, good phrases that you can apply in your speech. Okay, so for our next lesson, I, I actually write liked it a lot. We will uh go uh, I mean we'll go through the questions over here too, together with this uh Another one, speaking practice. For the speaking practice, I will I will skip the other one. Okay, I will skip the other one. Uh, I will tell you what to do lah next week. So I guess time is up. I have to prepare for another les lesson at 2 p.m. So thank you for coming and then I'll see all of you next week. And thank you for turning on your cam and mic too. See you and goodbye, everybody. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Goodbye, Bye, teacher. everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that.